that I really enjoy being around here in the team. I think the, you know everybody is very motivated and they work very well together and I just feel at home. I think that is also important. Of course, as a driver you want to win championships as well, but I think as a team we are working very hard towards that goal again. They have done it in the past, so I believe in the team that they can come back to that status again. And our new partnership with Honda, we had our first year, I think it can only get better from now onwards winning the championship that would be a successful year. Just 22 years old, it's hard to fathom that Verstappen has already driven in over 100 Grand Prix, but he was the youngest ever F1 driver when he first arrived at Toro Rosso back in 2015. If I look back at myself from 2015 to now, I learned a lot, but that's also, I think, pretty normal. You just gain a lot of experience. I'm still young, but I was very young when I started and I didn't really have a lot of experience in car racing. For me, I think it was just a natural learning curve I had to go through. You make mistakes, you learn from your mistakes, you have good races, so of course very happy with the outcome so far. And now it's time, of course, to try and fight for that championship. 2019 was Verstappen's best season so far. Although it was his first season with Honda Power at Aston Martin Red Bull Racing, he and the team exceeded expectations, with Max claiming three wins and nine podiums. I think in general just the consistency throughout the season, we didn't really make a lot of mistakes. We most of the time maximised the result, of course we were not in a position to fight for the championship, but I think in a lot of cases still being on the podium, you know, having good pit stops or having the right call in, in the first lap, yeah, just made it so far the, yeah, the best season uh, out of all the seasons I've done so far. So what was it that has boosted his performances? Track knowledge, experience or a calmness on race weekend? I think it's a bit of all those things together. You become a bit more relaxed as well. You have seen a lot, experienced a lot already. You know the tracks. There's a new track coming onto the calendar with Vietnam. But in general, yeah, you know how to build up a weekend a bit better. You know, you just yeah, feel your way into it a bit easier. You, you know the people who are working in the paddock. You build up a better relationship with everyone. So it all just becomes a bit more natural and more easygoing for me. Despite increasingly growing into the role of F1 superstar and role model, Verstappen remains a racer's racer. He's most happy with the visor down and the race ahead of him. I mean, the Sundays are the best of the whole weekend because that is where you live for, where you, of course, get the points as well and, and you can win the races. So Friday and a Saturday is good. It's nice to have a pole position, but at the end of the day, it doesn't bring you anything if you don't perform on, on Sunday, you know. So, um, yeah, for me, Sunday is always the best day.